Hey everybody, this is Tracy Ellis, and as you know, I'm the therapist around here, and today's therapy session is why Google cannot be your lawyer. So let me give you an example. I had a business owner who called me last week. She's got a company that has about 50 independent contractors working for her. For our purposes today, it doesn't matter if they're employees or contractors, but all 50 of her uh, independent contractors have signed, an in have signed an independent contractor agreement. So kudos to her. She's got them all under contract. I'm really happy about that. Her independent contractor agreement has a restrictive covenant known as a non-solicitation agreement. Guess what? She's got an independent contractor who is leaving the company and is out there soliciting clients. Now this independent contractor is going to start her new business. The contract does not prevent her from doing that. There is not a non-compete clause, just a non-solicitation clause. So the fact that she's going off competing with my client is fine. So my client brings me the contract, asks me to review it because she wants to stop this contractor from taking her clients. That's perfectly understandable. So I looked at the contract. It looks really good. It sounds really good. It's got some beautiful legal buzzwords that uh, make it seem like it's really great. It's close, but unfortunately, it's completely unenforceable. Now, I'm not going to go into all the whys and wherefores and what uh, restrictive covenants and non-solicitation clauses need to be enforceable. That's not the point of today's video. The point is the contract doesn't work. And when I asked her, where in the world did you get this contract from? She gave me the dreaded answer. I googled it. Now this is a perfect lesson of why Google cannot be your business law attorney. And I've got plenty more. This client estimates that she is going to lose approximately $10,000 in 2010 as a result of these three clients leaving to go with this new business. That could have been prevented had she just had an attorney review her contract and revise it, fix it, draft it so that it would be compliant with the law and enforceable. So when you need a contract with a bet your company provision on it like a non-solicitation or a non-compete, you have got to call an attorney. Don't Google it. Fire Google as your attorney. That's all today. I'm Tracy Ellis and I'll see you next time.